Do you know that we are consuming plastic particles in our everyday diet? Experts estimate that American adults could be consuming up to 3.8 million microplastics per year from protein alone. Beer, chicken, salmon, all of these have something in common. Sure, they're all delicious, but we are thinking of something much more alarming. They all likely contain microplastics. Welcome everyone to Explained. Today we are delving into a topic that affects all of us the presence of microplastics in the food we eat. It's a concerning issue that often goes unnoticed, but its implications are far-reaching. When you read the word microplastics, you probably think of fish and a bottled water. But a new study by University of Toronto shows that just how prevalent they are in food we buy at grocery store. But first, what exactly they are? These are minuscule plastic particles, often less than 5 mm in size, that result from a breakdown of larger plastic items or are intentionally manufactured at the scale. This can be found in a variety of products, including packaging materials and personal care products. The study says that nearly 90% of 16 different kinds of protein commonly eaten by people, including seafood, chicken and beef, and even plant-based meat alternatives such as tofu and veggie burgers contain microplastics. From seafood to fruits, vegetables and even bottled water, microplastics have found their way into the food chain, posing a potential threat to our well-being. The way foods are processed could be to blame. Researchers found that more processed proteins contain higher level of microplastics than their less processed counterparts. However, it is likely not only the culprits, as microplastic levels were found to be similar between highly processed products like chicken nuggets and fresh caught items. This suggests that there are additional microplastic contamination sources beyond food processing. The journey of microplastics into our food begins with various sources. Plastic pollution in oceans and water bodies break down into smaller particles due to sunlight and other environmental factors. These tiny particles then infiltrate the water supply and ultimately ending up in the food we consume. One significant route of microplastic contamination is through seafood. Fish and other marine creatures often mistake microplastics for food, leading to their ingestion. As a result, when we consume the seafood, we are consuming these plastic particles as well. And there are even smaller particles called nanoplastics. A recently published research in a Proceedings of National Academy of Sciences shows that a litre of bottled water can contain 1,10,000 to 4 lakh particles of nanoplastics, which is much higher than experts previously thought. In a report released last year by the Minderu Monaco Commission on Human Health, noted that toxic chemicals added to plastic and routinely detected in people are known to mimic hormones and increase the risk of miscarriage, obesity, cardiovascular disease and cancers. The study found that plastic causes disease and mortality at every stage of its lifespan, including manufacture, usage and disposal. Packaging of food items in plastic wraps, bottles and containers also adds plastic to the food. This is mainly why heating food in plastic containers is always advised against. The water bottle and protein experiments come as more than 170 nations strive to negotiate a treaty to solve the worldwide catastrophe caused by the annual production of more than 400 million tons of plastic, almost all of which comes from the climate warming fossil fuels with a recycling rate of less than 10%. The study's primary author, Madeline, cautions against making dietary assumptions from this data. She said, it's tempting to want to draw conclusions like eat less of this and more of that to avoid microplastics in your diet, but right now we still know very little about the microplastic burdens in commonly consumed food. At your level, you can find alternative food containers, go for raw meat and cook from scratch, ditch tea bags, Wash the fish very well to remove the microplastics and remember to remove the bowels of the fish as they are most likely to contain the plastics. For now, what we can do is to work together towards a future where our food is free from the lurking danger of microplastics. Until next time, stay informed and stay mindful of what you eat.